Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I just want to take this opportunity to wish you guys a happy and prosperous new year. I hope that everything that you have planned for yourself and for your future this year really comes through and really works out in your favor. I'm so excited to see what I have in store for my content for this year and I hope that you guys stick around to see what I have in store as well. But I wanted to make sure that I wished you guys a happy, happy new year. And I hope you guys had a happy holiday with your family or friends or whoever you celebrated with and much love in the new year. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. As soon as I hit record, I realize that I look like a crackhead, but we're here. I'm sitting at the table eating breakfast. I've had two days off back to back. Well, today's really a holiday and a day off. And I'm not going to lie. I really feel like I need a zap. But also, I've only worked. I'm working four days this week. And I've only worked two other days. I worked Sunday. I was off Monday. And then I worked Tuesday night. But I'm off Wednesday and Thursday. So I work tonight. And I'm going to pick up um, Saturday night. I don't know about Sunday. I got to see. But last week, when we were a little bit short, um, I'm having some tea, some peppermint tea, love peppermint tea, and um, some breakfast. I made some scrambled eggs with some Nathan sausage and like toast. So I'm having that for breakfast. And of course, I'm staying hydrated, drinking my water. I never really buy Aquafina, but when I went to the grocery store, this is the one that they had a deal on. And it's one thing I'm going to do is take a deal. That three for ten and that three for twelve. I'm gonna take whatever it is, except of course if it's Deer Park, because Deer Park I think it tastes funny. I don't really like that. But they had Aquafina for three for twelve. So I'm enjoying some water because I started taking this um Benefiber um thing every day. I mix it into like a cup of water or whatever. Um but I think my doctor told me that you have to drink a lot of water when you take this. But I'm not going to lie. Since I had my daughter 10 years ago, 12 years, oh my God, who am I? Since I had my daughter 12 years ago, I've always never had regular bowel movements like a normal person in terms of like, you know, how some people go every day. Mr. goes every morning and probably every night, honestly. And my brother is the same as all. And I think my sister is the same as all. But I've never been like that. And so when I went to her, I told her that I wanted something for that. So she said to try Benefiber. And she also said to try implementing some chia seeds in my diet. Because obviously you need like a lot of fiber. And I guess on a regular day, I don't consume like loads of fiber naturally. And so that has been really, really great. So if you're having problems with constipation, Benefiber is your friend. And I bought on Amazon. And honestly, great. Everything in life. Mommy, I'm just sitting down having some breakfast, enjoying this last day off. I'm probably going to have to cook something today because I mean, there's a lot of stuff in my fridge. I could also cook tomorrow. This battery's dying. There's pros and cons to working the night shift. And one of the pros is you feel like you have all day long to do every single thing under the sun and sleep because you don't have to be at work until like an hour before the next day because the shift is from 11 p.m. to 7 a.m., which essentially is great if you have a lot of things to do. On the other hand... Um, I feel like sometimes I miss sleeping in my bed because I'm like not home to sleep in my bed, you know? And so I guess that would be the con, if anything. But, um, yeah, I just got paid today and I paid my susu. I'm going to get my drone next week. So that's a little exciting. Not that I have any great plans for the money or anything. <laughs> I never really, I went into it not, not having like a plan for the money that I'm going to get or whatever, just knowing that, you know, it's a good thing because my mom had always been a part of Susu since we were growing up. So I'm like, yeah, maybe I'll do that. But um, yeah, I'm just sitting here right now. I'm going to, I think, curl up in bed or curl up on the couch and watch something. And um, yeah, that's basically the precedence for the day. I'm going to charge this camera because it's dying. But I wanted to pop in. <coughs> I took all of my supplements already, my vitamins and everything. And ready to start the day i put the ben benefiber inside of the tea this morning because even though it's tasteless i should have mentioned that before it's very tasteless you don't taste anything i feel like my brain thinks it tastes like something still even though it literally tastes like nothing so when i mix it into something like this because 
I put the peppermint tea bag and then I put um, sugar, brown sugar. And so all I'm really tasting is the flavor of the brown sugar. I'm not tasting whatever I think the Ben Fever tastes like. It's going to taste like nothing. I have a little bit of my breakfast left. I'm going to just leave that. So if anything, I come back and eat it later on. But um, yeah, that's it. Hi, everybody. So I had bought some um, candles in a Bath and Body Works sale from however long ago. We can't even get into it. However, I just got them last night. They're all Christmas scents, unfortunately, because at the time, that's all that was available. I got Tis This Season. I absolutely love it. It really smells like Christmas. I could burn this all year, to be completely honest. And then I have The Perfect Christmas. Like I said, the whole Christmas fringe is just basically. I did end up buying some more things. I bought some hand soap and a few other lot of things that are not here yet. I guess they'll just get here eventually. But normally, when they're having their sales, I like to buy enough things that will last me all year. Because their sales are exceptional. Vanilla Bean Noel. I have the fragrance in this and I love it. Mahogany and Teakwood. I, I don't remember that I got this one. Okay, some of them are the boxes that are easy to open and the other ones. This is one of my favorite fragrances. That one last year, I had bought so many. I gifted it and everything. Love mahogany and teakwood. This is Midnight Snow. Some of these I'm not familiar with because I have never bought them before. Oh, the tops are cute. This smells good. Mm. I'm very excited about these because I get to add these to my stash. And hopefully they last all year. Also, they were having a sale on the single candles as well. And... I bought some of those. I think I bought about a dozen and I'm so excited about them. This one says holiday. This smells like peppermint. I love this. Another tis this season. I really like that one, so I want to keep that one. Told my friend that I would give her one of this and some of the other ones. But I'm so excited about these. How many are there? I only got eight. And I was so bummed out because I was trying to buy 18. But they wouldn't allow me, but I guess with the eight that I was able to, oh, I love sweater weather too. That's nice. So I need to figure out which one I'm going to give to my friend. Maybe I'll give her a tis this season. Yeah, okay, fine. I'll do that. I'm going to put it down to give her later. I made sure to put it in my pocketbook because... I will forget if it's not right there. But um, for right now, that's all I have to show you guys. I also bought some halal food. I've been filming for some halal food. So I bought that. And the delivery man put it on the floor. I'm kind of upset about that because I was coming right down. And I tipped him. Like, couldn't you just wait or like call? Like I said, I was watching it. So I was going right there. Uh, they were having buy one, get one free. So I bought two. Lamb over rice, essentially. I'm going to eat one right now. Maybe I'll eat the other one later. And if not, it's going to be in the fridge. But, um, yeah. Hi, guys. It's a little bit later. Maybe two hours later or an hour and a half later. And I literally had to make myself some breakfast. Because guess what? I'm going to show you guys when I'm done. The people brought the food and there was no sauce on it. It's just... Dr Let me show you cannot make this shit up it's just dry literally dry no white sauce no lettuce oh my god i'm so upset so i, ca I can't eat that dry like that absolutely not so i had to make myself some breakfast i have two hard-boiled eggs here my probiotics Plantains and a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. No, I'll tell you one thing for sure. This is not at all what I wanted. So I'm... Is that water? Literally having to force myself to eat this because I literally have to eat something. It's currently 12.06. I'm so mad. So I'm going to eat on the couch and drink my water and continue watching Warrior and Runs. But I'm so, so upset. I... If you cut me... There would be no blood running the way how I'm upset. That's a Jamaican saying, by the way. So I have my robe on right now and my headscarf because I was going to go to sleep. And then I remembered that 
I just feel like I need a ramen. And then I also remember that I said I was going to take some old jackets that I have not worn in a couple of years and that will not fit me out of this um, holly closet here because it's combustible, so packed, right? So I need to do that. However, I don't know why I'm going to put you all here but for y'all to be able to see me. Yeah, I need to. I need to. And today's trash day, so I felt like today would be the perfect day to do that. And I'm making a ramen and some cold eggs. But I'm so particular about the ramen today because I want it to boil like it's so soft. I'm not even sure why. So we're going to try and unpack that place. Mm -hmm. 